Never before in the history of leaks have we seen leaks to this magnitude. Never before has a device been shared with us pre-production like it has at this level right here, right now. And I'm talking about the iPhone 12. We have seen the likes of air power making its triumphant return. We have seen the device in somebody's home in a testing type of environment. It's been leaked, it's been shared with us. We have seen pictures of what this potential iPhone 12 is going to look like. Now we are getting something a little bit more detailed. What we are looking at here today is the iPhone 12, an actual drawing of the iPhone 12. Now, if we take the device and we just kind of hold it right here and we look and we explore, everything is still the same. Nothing has changed. We've got our switch for muting silencing. We've got our volume rockers rocking away. And then we have our, our side button, as they like to call it, the on off Siri button. And then that's about it. You know, that's all that we can really see and that's revealed in this drawing. It's mainly focused on the notch, right? So the notch, let's say if the notch was this big originally, it looks like it's going to like, it looks like it's going to half the size of the current notch, maybe 35. I'm sure we'll find the exact figures tomorrow, but John just posted this John who John Prosser from front page tech. It's an amazing, awesome tech show that I've been watching and following since they were wee little lads with under 50,000 subscribers. And it's been an honor and blessing to be part of their journey and watch them grow. And recently John has been leaking through multiple sources, which I can only assume I don't have confirmation are either Apple direct employees, subcontractors of some sort, maybe family members of employees. I would even go as far to say, you know, people are working from home now. Stuff is at home where it normally would be in a lab. So it can be coming from all over the place. It could be the best friend of an employee. These leaks can come from anywhere, but he has gone out of his way to create this lovely credibility system, if you will. How credible are the sources and how solid is the leak? And it's uh, it's rolled of toilet paper. And, I, and given what we're going on in our economy right now and our society, I think it's quite appropriate that toilet papers are a sign of strength and power and knowledge, especially on Twitter. And it fits in really, really well with Toilet Squad. Hashtag Toilet Squad. Now we're going to go ahead and skip to what I would have to assume John or someone affiliated with him had put this together based on the drawing, something that's a little more digestible for me and you. It looks amazing. It, do I want to look at that picture or do I want to look? I want to look at the original because I want to see the source. And I'm feeling really good that they did a great job at replicating this over over here. So the iPhone's going to look amazing. I don't know if the iPhone 12 is going to have continued rounded edges like this, or if the iPhone 12 Pro Max, if you will, if I had to guess, it's going to be boxy like the iPad Pro. That design is not going to follow into every single iPhone. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But what I can share with you is it looks amazing and I can't wait for this device. So that's my excitement. And I don't usually make videos on leaks because one, I need to trust the source wholeheartedly that the information I'm sharing with you guys, my viewers, <laughs> is accurate. I don't wanna be the perpetuator of misinformation. So I typically don't do videos on leaks, but this just came out about an hour ago and I'm in the video making mood and I figured to myself, you know what, let me push this video out and let me get your opinion because I want to know if this is what the iPhone 12 is going to look like. Are you all in? Are you on board? iPhone 12 all the way up to iPhone Pro Maxes, right? But if this design is reserved specifically for the pro versions and you don't get the boxy look, is the look enough aesthetically pleasing to make you say, you know what, I'm a regular 
12 user, I'm an iPhone 11 user, but let me go to the 12 Pro Max because I want that old school refreshed design. Is that enough or does there need to be more? Because a lot has come to us through ways of leaks of the design, the external, the visual, all of that, and that's good and great. And you know, now we gotta wait and see what the software is gonna bring us. But one thing I do know for sure is Front page tech is eventually going to get in a position if they're not already speculating based upon my years of knowledge in business, right? Leaks like this, typically there's gonna be some sort of repercussion. We love front page tech. We love John Prosser, Brian Swoop. Brian, I don't know if that's really your last name. I could have got it wrong. If it is, I'm sorry, but not, not really that sorry because I sent you a message on Twitter once and you never replied and John's replied to every message I've ever sent him. So when it comes down to it, uh, there's gonna eventually be repercussions. This is Apple. Tim Apple is up in his ivory Apple tower somewhere, absolutely livid. He's fuming that every step and decision that they make that has some sort of significance is ending up in the hands of front page tech. So eventually he's going to get irate and the lawyers are going to get involved and that's what happened. So I would just encourage you guys to show your love and support to Front Page Tech. If you haven't already subscribed, do so. If you haven't bought some of their awesome merch, do so and uh, become uh, one of their channel members. They're doing great stuff for our tech community. They're doing great stuff on keeping me, you, everybody, consumers entertained updated and more importantly you know informed especially about upcoming leaks because if there's one phone that's about to come out but then you don't know about this other phone because no one's really talking about it, no one's buzzing about it you might end up buying a phone that you don't really want and then you buy phone over here and then you find out phone over there is going to be available in like a month and you're like wow i wish i would have waited so you know all this extra information helps them make better informed decisions so my point uh go ahead support front page tech show them some love they're bringing us all these amazing leaks and uh don't forget to support me all i'm looking for is a thumbs up a comment maybe a subscribe maybe 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 or uh go ahead and support front page tech so that's all for now this is late night video hopefully gonna get it processed and edited and published for you first thing tomorrow morning for the love of tech thanks for watching sub like comment namaste Thanks Nomadic Gear for supporting the channel. I'm kind of known for spending a ridiculous amount of money on luggage and high-end backpacks. Then I came across Nomadic Bags and I absolutely fell in love with the Nomadic Backpack and now I'm in love with the Nomadic Carry-On Pro. This is a two bag in one type of deal and it will not disappoint you. If you're in the market for some new luggage, a messenger bag, or a backpack that's big enough to take on a trip and still carry on the plane, then look no further. Take a moment and check them out. Link is in the description. Don't forget to click on the red sale link at the top of the page. You'll thank me later.